and welcome to another video on a wild card wednesday uh, you may or may not have noticed we've recently hit almost 250 subscribers and i just want to say if you're one of the subscribers thank you if you're one of the new subscribers thank you and if you're not a subscriber thank you for watching and if you like what you see go ahead and subscribe try something a little different as you know we're all kind of at home and there is a website that has been getting a fair amount of attention not an ad um the reason i'm showing you this is because today i thought i'd hand add a few of these quizzes and uh find out things i am so mental but they're kind of fun as long as you don't take them too seriously so uh, let's just dive right in I pulled up for us today is what legendary Pokemon are you given to us by Hey Pretty Nails. Now, one of the things you all should know is that I've never taken this quiz before. None of the quizzes you're seeing here are anything I've taken, so they're completely new to me. Also, for basically, you just enter a name. Not too hard. Well, it's harder when you can't spell. And then you hit start, and we see what happens. So, which legendary Pokemon am I? If I'm lucky, it'll be one I like, but we'll see. <laughs> Alright, so this is only a seven question quiz. What's my favorite color? Pink, purple, white, red, blue, anything. No colors, just work. Black or green? So, um, green. It's definitely green. Blue is a, a close second, but I've always liked green, and that's partially because of Yoshi. So, green. Pick a game type. Evil. <laughs> I didn't know evil was a game type. Somebody want to find a game in the evil genre and let me know about it? Shooting. Eh, eh, you guys have seen my work at Splatoon. It's fine, I guess. Animal games. Maybe. Horror. No. Survival. Not really. RPG. Sometimes. Dancing. I'm terrible at DDR, but I have played it. No, I'm not going to stream it. Simulator. Those have times. Those have their moments, yes. And any, really. Well, hmm. I'm gonna go with uh, animal games. Yeah, that seems reasonable. What is my dream home? Okay. <laughs> this is a fun one. Um, because I'm the sort of person who really loves to travel. And by really loves to travel, I mean I like to go all sorts of places. Uh, be nice. I would like that. I love the water. I live near the water in real life and it's amazing. House in the neighborhood? No. Anywhere that fate takes me? Absolutely not. I don't trust fate. <laughs> Mansion? Pass. A forest is nice, but I don't want to live in one all by myself. Lake or a pond? Eh, you know what? I'm going to go with a house on a beach. Because I'm not a hobo. What type of food do I love? Okay, this, this should be known right now. I'm an incredibly picky eater. Like, I'm very hard to please when it comes to food. It's almost embarrassing. But, if I had to pick a cuisine, I would automatically go for Italian. Mexican is raw, is a close second. American's okay, but it has its moments. The fact that American cheese is even considered a cheese is, to me, a big no-no. But Italian is the big winner here. Ah, pick a starter Pokemon. Now this, this question feels a little more on topic. <laughs> Charmander's cool, but I've used Charmander and it... It's not a bad Pokemon, but I don't know. I feel like I feel like I probably wouldn't opt for Charmander or Torchic. In fact, I I think if it were up to me, I probably would end up with Actually. I'm not gonna lie, I love the way Totodile behaves in the anime. Oh, this is fun. If I get to be a gym leader, what type would I be? Okay, this is this this is not an intense question, but I'm going to make it more dramatic than it needs to be. Six and a half hours later. Oh, a psychic type. I'm one of those... I'm a fan of that mind over matter stuff. Last question. What word describes me? We've got powerful, cheerful, funny... I don't know. Amazing, loyal, cute, shy, or evil. <laughs> well, hopefully not the last part. Um, but I'm gonna say, for the purposes of this conversation, I'm a pretty cheerful type. I don't know if my voice always lets that on. But to be fair, I play a lot of troll levels. Result is... 100% okay with this solution. 
So, fun fact for y'all, Mew actually happens to be my favorite Pokemon. So, as far as I'm concerned, this is a perfect result. <laughs> Animal Crossing Villager Personality. Now, so question one and out of 12, pick a season. All right. Just so y'all know, fall. Always fall. I love spring. I tolerate summer. And I like winter for the first month and a half. And then it's like, can we have something else? I appreciate it. And I usually look to find some way to compliment them back if I can. But if I can't, I end up going with getting embarrassing. <laughs> getting embarrassed? Getting embarrassing. Like, like the way I just said that. Um, I think I'd have to vote with... Uh, being very pleased though. This is a close second, but if I had the option, I'd want to compliment them back. Impression do I think I give off to strangers? Well, hmm. I like it when I can make a good first impression. So, I, you know, I do what I can. We just met though. I don't expect you to become friends with me overnight. But it would be cool if we could be friends. So, you know. Haitian plans. Ooh. Um... Okay, so that top one is a lie. Um, when I go on vacation, I actually do want to decompress. Even if I'm somewhere new and doing something new, I don't want the agenda to be so full I never get a breather. Um, holiday with all my friends? Yeah, and no. I like hanging out with friends, I really do. But sometimes I just want to be alone. <laughs> I did a trip, actually, to uh, Europe um, last year where I went completely solo, and that was probably one of the most relaxing weeks of my entire life. It's kind of weird. I'm probably the most extroverted introvert you'll ever meet. This one this one here seems interesting. I know I mentioned I was a picky eater, though, so I'll keep this one on the back burner. I do not want to stay home. That's a big no, ever. Um, places sometimes, but I'd probably rather go somewhere new, so... I'm gonna say this one. I wanna, I wanna see the world... new. When I said last year I went to Europe, that was actually my first try at it, and um, there was so much there that I really loved, so definitely that. Ooh, pick a KK song. All right, is KK Bubblegum on here? Yep, answer. Next. How easy is it to ask for help when I need it? Um, everybody can relate to this a little bit. It's it's good to ask for help. You should definitely do so. I try to, but sometimes it takes a little more of a push. Giving. Acts of service, quality time, words of affirmation, physical touch. Okay, here's a hint. It's not the last one. I am not a... Words of affirmation are nice. When you guys say nice things to me in the comments, it makes me feel warm and fuzzy. Quality time is great. Um, scheduling it with me can be a bit of a challenge. My life has this kind of hectic thing going on right now. Honestly, it's probably gift giving. Um, I like it when I can go to the store or online and find something that makes me think of someone and then just pick it up for them. That's one of my favorite things to do. One other could choose, what kind of role would I play in a live performance? Okay, remember y'all from... A stream a while back where I told you I actually had theatrical chops. Well, let's find out what that translates to on this quiz. Not a good villain. <laughs> uh, ensemble. Well, I've definitely played bit characters. Um, I actually played a role once. The character's name literally was Chorus Boy 3. And it was lampshaded because at some point in the script I actually had to say, Deadpan, I'm not important enough for the script writer to give me a name. Yes, that actually happened. However, I did get a name at the end of the show and was in fact the only bit character to do so. So, in a sense, I got promoted from extra halfway through the show. <sighs> Why not? I'm the lead performer here at least, right? What fish represents my current mood? Well, today has definitely been one of those days. So, I'm going to go with um this dude here. Pick a reaction. Ooh, I like these. This one, for sure. Although this one is definitely a valid mood. Pick a Pascal quote. Oh boy. A little longer than a few minutes later. I'm trying to go with the top one. If somebody's faking a smile, don't give them a hard time about it, okay? You never know what that person's going through. At least, what qualities do I value the most in a friend? I think I'm gonna have to say my friends are different. So if I like you, you're my friend. Villager. Cool, that reminds me of villagers like Chrissy and Audi, who actually happen to be some of my favorites, so I am 100% okay with that result. Very big emotions and I just need to share, like right now. <laughs> okay, I can't argue with that. Big heart. You have such a big heart and can make anything exciting and fun. That's a real gift. 
Sometimes your energy can be too much for others, or you might feel like you move too fast, but you always stay true to yourself and you make the world brighter for having you in it. That was very kind of you. Thank you, Pistachio. Alright, last but not least for today, what Yoshi am I most like? As an avid Yoshi collector and a Yoshi main in Smash, and someone who plays as Yoshi pretty much every chance he gets, this is actually possibly the most important quiz for me. One out of five. Oh, this is a pretty short one. What is your favorite sport? Running? None. <laughs> Tennis, basketball, ballet... I'm gonna say... I think my favorite would probably have to be... Probably... Oh, is, it, is badminton on here? I don't see badminton on here, so we'll go with netball. Yeah, that works. Alright, when is my birthday? Well, it falls in the month of August, and that's all you get to know. Favorite subject at school? Hey, this is this renders from Yoshi's Story. I love this game. I think my favorite subject at school would probably be... Nope, not that, actually. I mean, I like English, but I'm gonna go with the arts. Well... No, I'm gonna go with drama. Um... I am not what they call a theater kid, but I am a fan of conflict-driven story. Type of music. Hey, that... Credit to whoever this artist is. I'm gonna say my favorite type of music is probably... Jazz, yeah. No, no, it's electronic. Definitely electronic. Barely avoided that meme. Favorite gemstone. Alright, let's wrap this up. Black Onyx, Diamond, Amethyst, Ruby, Emerald, Aquamarine, Sapphire, or Pearl? Or Opal. It's funny, the reference shows Topaz, but I don't see Topaz anywhere on here. I'm gonna say Emeralds, because they're green. And I like Emeralds. Well, I like green. I actually don't know much about gems. And the result is... Big Red. Big Red is brave, wise, and strong, and wants to be like Aragorn from Lord of the Rings. You know what? I could definitely do worse. Was a good friend and is reliable. Huh, not too shabby. It's a wrap. I want to thank you for taking the time to hang out with me as always. I don't usually do quizzes, and I don't usually do them on YouTube, but if you thought this was fun and would be interested in seeing more of the same, let me know, and we can look. This really wasn't your cup of tea. I do want to thank you for all sticking around. This was kind of experimental, and I'm trying something new. On Saturday, I'll be doing another stream, and then on Monday, I'll be doing more Mario Maker, so stick around, and I hope to see you all next time. Enjoy the rest of your week, and I'll see you on Saturday. Ciao for now!